Once upon a serene pond, nestled in the heart of a sprawling forest, there lived a family of graceful swans. They were the epitome of elegance, with feathers as white as freshly fallen snow and long. Slender necks that curved gracefully as they glided across the water. Among this family of swans, there was an Animalia small, peculiar-looking duckling. Unlike his siblings, who boasted sleek feathers and regal stature, this duckling was ungainly and, some would say, downright ugly. His feathers were a patchwork of mismatched colors, and his beak was slightly crooked. From the moment he hatched, the other swans treated him differently. They whispered behind his back, and sometimes even openly mocked him for his appearance. But despite their unkindness, the ugly duckling remained resilient, finding solace in the love and warmth of his mother's embrace. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, the ugly duckling grew larger and stronger, though he remained different from his family in appearance. He possessed a gentle spirit and a kind heart that endeared him to all the creatures of the forest. One day, as the ugly duckling was exploring the edge of the pond, he stumbled upon a group of ducklings, much like himself awkward and misfit in appearance. They were overjoyed to meet him, welcoming him into their midst with open wings. Together, they formed a bond that transcended their differences, reveling in each other's company as they splashed and played in the cool waters of the pond. And though the other swans continued to shun the ugly duckling, he no longer felt alone or out of place. As the seasons changed and the forest bloomed anew, something miraculous happened. The ugly duckling began to transform before his very eyes. His feathers molted and were replaced by a coat of gleaming white plumage and his once crooked beak straightened into a graceful curve. In astonishment, the other swans watched as the ugly duckling emerged. From his awkward adolescence, transformed into a creature of breathtaking beauty. And though they had once spurned him for his differences, they now welcomed him into their fold with open wings and loving hearts. And so, the ugly duckling found his rightful place among his family. No longer judged by his appearance, but by the kindness and courage that had always resided within him. And as he soared high above the treetops, he knew that true beauty lay not in outward appearance, but in the depths of one's soul.